Good afternoon. I'm going to start the uh, license commission meeting for June 6, 2018. Commissioners present, Brian Campanelli, Chair Natasha Yakovlev, and Helen Kahn. Um, want to um, bring this meeting to order and also announce that we are audio video recording at this time. Um, is there any public comment? Seeing none, we'll move on to item number three, application for farm winery liquor license. Outlook Spirit DBA Outlook Farm <clears throat> Winery, Saturday, May 12, 2018, November 10, 2018, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m., Northampton Farmers Mar Market, 8 Gothic Street, Northampton. Um, type is a farm winery liquor license to sell at Farmers Market and agricultural events. So, uh, how you doing? Can you state your name for the record, please? Brad Morse, Outlook Farm. Okay. You've had these before? Yes, we had last year for the first yeah. time. Okay, great. Anything different? Uh, I don't think anything. It'll be hard cider or wine. Okay. And they, uh, they set up so that people can't leave the area with the alcohol, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions? These are tastings or you're, you're selling products? Or both? Uh, we're, we're selling bottles and cans. Okay. And um, I can't remember. I think, I think we do the one ounce or two ounce tasting. Right. And that's about it. I'll make a motion to approve the application for farm winery liquor license for Outlook Spirit DBA Outlook Farm Winery for Saturdays, May 12, 2018 through November 10, 2018 from 8 to 1 at the Gothic Street Farmers Market. Uh, I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Round right, number four, application for farm winery liquor license. Metal Farm. Saturday, April 28th, November 10th. A.M. to 1 p.m. North Hamilton Farmers Market, Big Gothic Street. State your name, please. Rick Entrez. Hi, Rick. How are you? Thanks for coming. Same deal, I would uh, imagine. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't have any questions. Do you have any other questions? Is it your first year doing it? We've sold at multiple other farmers markets. Oh. This will be our first appearance in North Hamilton. Okay. Great. Uh, make a motion to approve the application for farm winery liquor license for Bear Meadow Farm uh, Saturdays, April 28th through November 10th at the North Farmers Market at the Gothic Street. Uh, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mark. <coughs> Number five application to transfer of common VIC license and transfer of automatic amusement device license. Uh, DPZ Inc. DBA Diner, uh, 99 Main LLC DBS, DBA Ms. Florence Diner, 99 Main Street, Florence. Number uh, license number 128, Convict, and number 636, Virginia Box. Hi, can you Hi. say your name, please? Georgina Brunton. Nice, thank you very much for uh, coming. Can you uh, uh, just explain to us uh, what you're doing here? I'm looking to transfer the license from the old company to my 99 name LLC. So it's a whole new company now? Uh, it is. I, nice. The DPZ sold. Oh, okay. Excellent. I saw it on the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> you guys have any questions? to approve the application for transfer of common fictional license and transfer of automatic amusement device license from DPZ Inc. to 99 Main LLC. A second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good luck. Appreciate Thank it. Thanks. Number seven, application for short-term liquor license. Oh, Trust me. Oops, sorry. Oh, there you go. Application for entertainment license. Cafe, Cafe Evolution, 22 Chestnut Street. Florence. So, type of proposed entertainment, live music, poetry, video, open stage, open cabaret, lectures, readings, comedy, theater, proposed entertainment hours, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Can you say your name, please? Star Drucker. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, can you tell us the days that you actually would uh, be using this entertainment license, what you're planning on? Um, I'm I'm planning on having something just about every night. Okay, 
just probably not Sunday. No. Yeah, probably not Sunday, but at the other days. All right. You guys are here open Mondays, then take it. Yeah, yeah, we're open seven days. Seven days. Okay. <clears throat> Is there any restriction on that? Hmm. Oh, this is after that, anyway. it's 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, if it covers it, you know, I'm fine. And you realize by putting 6 p.m. that you can't have somebody come in earlier than that. I mean, they can set up, but. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does it Does it matter what, what time that, that is? If that's what you put here on the app. Yeah, on your application. Okay. In, in any future date, if I wanted to change that, but I come here. Probably contact the office. Yeah, contact the office. Okay. Do that. Okay. You guys have any questions? Is the music amplified or is it acoustic? Uh, probably both. Okay. Yeah. It's a freestanding building. Yeah. It's not really near any other uh, people that wouldn't care. Okay. Great. If there are no zoning issues for amplification, then we should be aware of it. June 27th, 6 to 8 p.m. Um, Pam Acosta and Dara Zierman reception, Forbes Library, um, Wine and Mall, tips, insurance, request fee waiver. Is anybody here for? Uh, uh, same. Okay. We, it's the same as it's always been. Yeah, so why don't we just go ahead and make a motion? Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the application for short term liquor license for the trustees of Forbes Library. For Wednesday, June 27th, 2018, from 6 to 8 p.m. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Item number eight public hearing on application for transfer of alcohol and mineral liquor license for manager and pledge of license and transfer of common bank license and in order license for Autumn Inn LLC DBA Autumn Inn. Our server LLC, DBA on in. Proposed manager is Kyle Matikowski. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, 259 Elm Street, Northampton. Uh, can you state your name, please? Peter Pusilowski for the applicant transfer. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Um, Building 8 Brewery, Inc. DBA Building 8 Brewery. 
Saturday, June 16, 2018, time from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., special release of new beer, building a 320 Riverside Drive, wine and malt. Insurance. Can you state your name, please? Uh, O'Brien Tomlin. How are you? Good to see you. Um, been better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we're doing good. We're doing good. We just had our two principals uh, leave the company, oh. and that's why we're, we hadn't done anything for Beer Week, and then we. Uh, uh, pulled together, uh, you know, we've got a consultant working with us, and uh, we've got a new brewer inter interviewing Monday, but we're doing a special release, we're making an effort to kind of be present during beer week, but with everything going on, I couldn't commit to anything, and this was like the tail end, and we can finally figure it out, so, you know. Room for investors? <laughs> <laughs> no, they, you know, maybe if I had given them the 50% of the company they wanted, maybe. Yeah, but, right. yeah they, uh, they, that, was the, that was the issue, yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, after I came back from being sick, they uh, kind of had a different company, you know, because I was, I was in the hospital for a little while. Oh, I'm sorry. 20, like 20 something days at base eight and didn't work for like three months, so. But. Glad to see you back. Strong like bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good, but that's uh, it's essentially the same thing we've done before um, without, uh, you know, with a smaller sort of format. Uh, we're doing a 30 by 30 tent right in front. Yeah. We'll fence off like we did last time. Uh, only one entrance. We keep the handicap entrance available. If anybody needs it, we can kind of open up the gate from it. People can go in. Everybody stays inside the garage area or under this 30 by 30 tent in the front. No live music, anything like that. Just snacks, you know, regular like bar snack type stuff. No, uh, no cook shack or anything going. But uh, yeah, I attended the last one. It was great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll do that again in the, in the courtyard, though, right? Was that the one? Or? Right outside the garage. Oh, right there. That was yeah. That was the the one previous. Oh, I think, previous. Too. Okay. Yeah, but this is uh, we're doing the regular beer, but we're just gonna do a special hop combination to kind of uh, leave the everybody. Uh, we had a lot of people saying we were closed and oh, stuff like that. Wow. You know, mostly because of what. The two people left were so we're just trying to kind of invigorate the brand and make sure people know we're not going anywhere you know and i live next door as you know so it's uh, it's important for the neighborhood as well so we're donating to the bay state village association again so um who knows what they really do but <laughs> it's, uh, they're happy about it so you know all right i don't have any questions i don't have any no questions would you like to make a motion uh, yes, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license uh, by building a, building a brewery um, for Saturday, June 16th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the special release of the new beer at 320 Riverside Drive. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. Aye. Andy, do I need to come and see you? Uh, I'll email you in the morning when okay. it's ready. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. All right. We'll see you soon, Thanks I hope. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. It was... It was very, you know, it was pancreatitis, like a weird, you know, sudden uh, thing, and they kind of didn't let me eat for 20 days and or drink or anything. So, I was say, but it's yeah, felt, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's the stripes. You wear stripes. It's <laughs> yeah, right. Right here. I'll see you guys. Bye. Number nine discussion and, and possible vote to amend short-term policy. Okay, so his example, his right there is an example. So. All, all short-term licenses only benefit nonprofits. Because it, it's a, so it's, you guys have stuff too, I gave you. So you, a for-profit cannot apply for an all alcohol. It's a state law, nothing you can do about it. A wine and malt, anybody can apply. A few years ago, the old commission put a stipulation on that they had to donate to a nonprofit making short-term licenses only profitable for nonprofits. So his example right there, he is trying to make sure, make people aware that he's still in business, but then in all his hard work, he has to then donate the proceeds to a nonprofit. But I think he gives it away. Gives what away? The beer. It's, yeah, it's okay, maybe, okay, so maybe that's it's not it's a great example. Yeah, no, but I get what you're saying. So, uh, so Union yeah. Station wants to have a right. food truck festival in their parking lot. Their license doesn't extend to the parking lot, so they need a short-term license. And they're trying to have a food truck festival to drum up business. Right. And after all their hard work, they would have to donate their proceeds to a profit. Their profits. Their <laughs> profit only. Their profit. Right. Right. So in other words, they're going to 
like anything that they sell in that parking lot or you know per se right. anything that's covered under their other liquor license they're set oh yeah they're good but so if they make say they sell five thousand dollars worth of beer mm -hmm. and their profit is fifteen hundred they have to donate that fifteen hundred no because the beer that he uses for the for the short term has to come separately it can't come from his license premise oh so he's got to get it he has to buy it through a distributor yeah. and anything that's he doesn't okay. use at the end of the day has to go back okay so my point being though he has to buy that right, right. so he still sells five thousand dollars worth of beer that he brought in from commercial distributing or whoever right but and then there's only a profit markup of 1500 okay so in other words he needs that money to pay commercial distributing but then the profit that they actually make would be donated or are you saying every penny would be donated because that just doesn't seem fair yeah so he Tax covers his costs first right? got to cover and then costs left over and Any, anything that he makes that day he has to donate but here's the other thing it's never been policed no one has ever gone after anybody no one's checked nothing what was the reason for the their reason in 2011 was it said this would alleviate any attempts to create a business profiting from short-term licenses but also the ABCC has a rule that you can't have one individual can't have more than 30 in a year and they didn't know that they they even said this commission should come up with a summary of requirements including 30 days in a year are the only allowed but that's already an ABCC rule so making it that firmly void. Mm -hmm. And because they say so, here, a nonprofit can apply for all alcohol or wine and malt. That is not true. And I gave you, I gave you on this sideways sheet. So that's already a state law. Okay, but so so making their 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 argument was that people are going to start pr making a business out of short-term licenses, but this just gives them thirty days out of the year. So in other words, all summer long they should be able to pull that and do it. Correct. That's like you know or whatnot, Forbes or whatnot. It's all there are three of them. No, they can only have 32. 30, they can only have 30 licenses. 30 events. 30, yeah. Yeah, right. Right, so whatever. So he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't use all those, so that's a moot point, right? Exactly, that's right, right. right. yes. Okay. And then if you- So we're concerned with him donating or anyone like that donating. I just proceeds. don't think it's fair because even state law is telling you anyone can apply for a wine and malt. So why did we put that rule in place that they're So processing? our commission need, said that they need to donate their profit? Yes, November 2011. So you're looking to see if we want to amend it back to the state law. Basically just trying to follow state law. Also, I researched eight random cities in Massachusetts. East Hampton, Amherst, Chickapee, Newburyport, Lowell, Pittsfield, Newton, Amesbury. None of them have that. Yeah, I have no problem going back to uh, whatever the state man. I mean, they're the rule. It just makes, it just, it, I just don't think it's fair. It's an inequity. And I've been, ever since I've come here, I've been butting up with people about it because it just, it doesn't make sense. So I'm pro-business and I, am, I really am tired of everybody trying to put a wedge in between people trying to make a living in, in business. So if we want to bring that back and the state law says that they don't have to donate proceeds and they can actually. No, and that's, that is, that is from state law right there. and. The re and the reasoning that the, the commission in 2011 did this, it just doesn't make sense because there's, they're saying right here, a nonprofit can apply for an all alcohol or a wine and malt. So is the, um, so two questions. One is I'm wondering, was someone abusing it in some way that they thought now we have to put a stop to this? And yes. I don't know what would constitute abuse. So let's see. Gail Yakuzo from the Academy stated that the commission has been very generous to allow multiple events, multiple licenses, 
and she respected the idea of one event per month. She's concerned that these licenses are competing with for-profit establishments, and that's when they wanted to add the 30 days. But that's already a law. It's like yeah. it's like they just didn't really know. So the end result, the state does not mandate mandate them to donate. No, there's there is no nowhere in the state law, and there's no policing on your part or ours. No, no, and the no, entity no. Never has sure been since it was put in. All it all they did was the clerk at the time put it on the application. Okay. Yeah. No follow up, right? Yeah. Does never. Well, I said, already, you know, so you don't so I mean, you look at it, and I always, I when I came, I always would be like, okay, I have to make sure this is this is at least filled in, but it never went around, never went beyond that. And so, just so I understand, so for profits can get a short term liquor license just for wine and malt, or can it be a long alcohol? For profits cannot get an all alcohol. Right. Okay. Ever, even malt. even if we were to go back to what the state says, it's just wine and malt. Right. Uh, that we're talking the short term license. Yes, for, for profits can only can be wine and malt. They cannot have all all alcohol in state law. And so we're proposing that we go back to that when they do that they can keep their profits. They can keep their profits. That seems to make sense to me. I'm good with that. I had Yeah, I mean there's We're not following up on it anyway. We haven't what was the year that they voted on that? Two thousand eleven. And no one's followed up in seven years. No. That's ridiculous. I mean, let's bring it back to what state law mandates. Yeah, I mean, unless you've heard from any <coughs> restaurants or bars that feel like they're unfairly competing against people with short term liquor licenses, which certainly but doesn't seem stopping, to be the case. There's nothing stopping them if they want to have that kind of. Yeah. You want to put the effort in to get a function in your yep. parking lot? Do it. Yep. Otherwise, right. quit whining. I mean, that's the way I look at it. Yep. You can't know, honestly. So. And they also made a, a point that they were that they were getting too many. They just felt like they were getting too many. But it was like I guess it was when like outdoor events started popping up, and everyone wants to have an outdoor event, but only nonprofits can benefit from an outdoor event here. It just doesn't make any sense. No. I'm down to and not other, not any other city around here does that. Not one. Seems arbitrary. Yeah. Too good. So yeah, I'm just trying to think through if there's any downside. I mean, and well, what is the problem? The good thing is, if, if, change it, if there's something that comes up that yeah. someone is abusing, we can handle it case by case. Right. You know, we have the authority to either grant or not. Those. Right. We don't. Yeah. I mean, it almost sounded like the license commission was tired of getting applications. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, right? It's, it's your job. You can't. Yeah. When it happened, Lynn was still in my office. She was same spot she is when this happened and she said that Mary was tired of getting all the applications yeah. because all these outdoor events started popping up and they didn't really like it. But they didn't also didn't know that you can't have more than thirty a year. So I think their argument was, oh well yeah. they're taking away from if thirty places decided to do thirty a year, that's a ton. I mean for one person for like you to actually go through all those applications, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah but that's what she's complaining about. Yeah but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Right. It's a sign There's of things I don't like doing in my job. Right. But I do them. Exactly. So, you know. And it'll probably be, I'm assuming, the high time will be summer. Oh, of course. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, are we ready to make a motion? Up and down. Right. 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 Are we ready to hear a motion? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'll make a motion that we abolish the um, addendum. And from 2011, uh, stating that for uh, profit businesses have to donate to a nonprofit <coughs> uh, utilizing a wine and malt license. And that the state mandated laws actually rule over the short term license. Yeah, and maybe, maybe just instruct me to change the So, okay. And we'll have Annie um, change the application showing such. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. Where are we at? That's number nine.
approval of minutes to May 2nd, May 22nd. Is everybody good on those? Or is we were camping the 22nd, right. so right. should be. I recruited myself from May 22nd, well, May 2nd I was, though. Okay. You were here, yes. Yeah. Sure. I make a motion um, to approve the minutes from May 2nd and May 22nd, 2018. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. For May 2nd. <laughs> Discussion of summer meeting schedule. Did we do the 22nd? Sorry. Yeah, yep. she did both, but I just got I recused oh, myself okay, from okay. that when I wasn't going there. So. Um, so our next meeting is set up for July 25th. Yeah, and that's I, I tried to just give us an extra time during the summer, mm -hmm. but I on Friday I have an application on my desk for the uh, I don't know, it's a big one. Um, and did they sell? Yeah. I heard they did. Yeah. I heard they weren't doing well. That's why they fired. Um, so I was thinking instead of doing and getting rid of July and instead of maybe just the second the last week of June or the second week of July.